Traders, I'm going to teach you today the difference between trade management or actually risk management and loss management. So right now what I'm having is really a loss management because Bubba's down like 60 cents below my entry point. Look at this terrible red candle. When something like that happens, you never ever move out of a trade. You just wait for a pullback. You don't know where the pullback is going to be and that is loss management. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to make the smallest possible loss out of a terrible trade that I'm experiencing right now. Now, trade management or risk management could possibly be compared to a pilot who is flying an airplane and before he flies the airplane, he checks the, pilot, he checks the airplane, checks the steering, checks the wheels, checks whatever, check the weather. What I'm doing, what I'm talking about right now is loss management and loss management is crash landing. That's what I'm doing right now. Crash landing. Look at this stock. It's crash landing right now in front of my eyes. I need to know where my stop loss is and I never ever move out of a stock before it reverses. It doesn't matter how far it comes down. You must wait for reversal. Now hear me out here. I don't care if it comes down two points. You wait for a reversal. You must always wait for it to pull back up. If you are very, very unlucky and you have some and you're experiencing some intraday bad news in Baba in that case, then yes, it could continue moving down several points and you will have a huge loser. But how many times does that happen? Like one out of a thousand? I can't even remember the last time it happened to me. I do remember once, but it was years ago. You always wait for reversal and maybe, just maybe right now, I see the first sign of a reversal. So once you see a reversal, you don't wait for it to move back up to your initial point. You just wait for a pullback, maybe a 60 cent Fibonacci for, or something like that. So I'm just hoping it's going to go up right now to a manageable loss point. And if it does, once it shows me the signs that it may come down again, I'm moving out. I don't trust it to continue. Look at it right now. Look at it. This could be the place where I would move out. It's a nice pullback. I'm actually kicking the button right now. I'm out. I moved over 140. I'm taking a 20 something cent loss here, not a 70 or so which I had earlier. Don't ever, ever let these red candles move you out of a trade. You don't want to be removed out of a trade if something like that happens. People who are using hard stops are being moved out of a trade like that. You always wait for a pullback. Now, does the pullback always come? No, but in 99% or more of the time, it will come. So once you see a big red move downside candle, if you're long in that case, you just wait for a pullback. If it moves down slowly, then yes, you could have a stop loss. You can move out, either clicking it out or even having a hard stop. I don't mind. But when you have a quick one direction, big red candle, you always wait for a pullback. I just stopped this trade out with a manageable loss. If I would have panicked and moved out earlier, I could have had a worst one. I, could, I couldn't, of course, know where it's going to stop. I couldn't know once it started moving down that it's going to stop somewhere. It could have easily stopped and reached new highs and I could have a great trade. But the problem is you never know where it's going to stop. So it moved down, you continue trading with it and you wait for a reversal and look at it. It couldn't be trusted. It may in fact come down right now and continue moving down. So I did do the right thing. I did take my my stop loss at the right point. I did wait for reversal. And again, this is loss management. This is not risk management. This is crash landing. I hope they taught you something. Thank you for watching. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.